we found some rideable waves on Lake Champlain. This is Lake Champlain four to six. I'm tripping. Okay, so judging by the title of the video, you guys can obviously tell that we are making some seriously, seriously very heavy claims today. However, here's why these claims are sufficient. We've seen four to six foot Nebraska. We've seen six foot Tennessee, but we have never seen four to six foot Vermont. Here's what we're gonna check out. I got a couple different little reports here. This is the National Weather Service. I'm just gonna read this one off. I can feel the wind blowing just in this truck. Today, south winds 10 to 15 knots increasing, 15 to 20, waves one to three feet. Now that means in the middle of the lake. Here we go. Thursday, south winds 30 knots with gusts around 40 becoming southeast, partly sunny, waves four to six feet. Thursday night, 15 to 25, gusts around 40, waves four to six feet. We got another one, hang on now. We are still getting stoked. Thursday, small craft advisory likely wind direction south, southeast, 26 to 48 miles an hour, medium sized waves, seven feet at seven seconds. And then that same report, Thursday afternoon, waves six feet at six seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, buckle your seat belts. We're about to do the unthinkable four to six foot Vermont. The novelty hunt is on. Moment of truth, whether or not I actually put my passport in this cabinet two weeks ago. About to find out right now. No way. Bango. No. Trip is back on. That's so gnarly. Dude. <laughs> that was a gnarly moment. Gnarly. 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 I could not be more stoked. We are back. Forgot to mention we picked up JT for the mission in his home state of North Jersey. Oh, it's oh. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. I have never, ever, ever seen milk in a vending machine. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a development in the swell. We have a development in the elements of the swellament. Here's the situation. We are... <laughs> I'm not sure what's happening over there. We are currently looking at the marine forecast for Grand Isle, Vermont. Thursday, windy conditions. Large waves, eight feet at seven seconds. Wind wave period, southeast. Oh, peak wave direction, southeast, nine seconds. So that's eight feet at nine seconds coming across a lake. Now, the second thing we have to look at right now is the depths. I have the Lake Champlain depths. I don't know how well you guys can see this, considering the focus on the GH5 is the worst in the game. But we have some really, really good scenarios in which really deep water up to 125 feet, pretty darn close to the shorelines here. And all those swells are gonna be coming across the lake. I think we have at least 40 plus miles of fetch and that's 25 to 50 mile an hour winds blowing across Lake Champlain. If we were ever going to find waves on Lake Champlain and absolutely score four to six foot Vermont, now they're telling me eight foot Vermont, tomorrow would be the day, so. Oh, by the way, got a sparkling spring water lemon lime drink. One dollar, classic buy. 
Anyway, we're getting back in the car. The dream's on, the mission's on, the journey continues. We have historical documentation and visual evidence of the spot. May 23rd, 2011, the wind was 25 to 35 miles an hour from the south, south, east. Linked that with a YouTube video shot May 23rd, 2011 on Lake Champlain. Ladies and gentlemen, we have surf. I'm not claiming day of the year. I'm claiming day of the decade. Day of the decade? It's on. <laughs> All we needed was a little brain science. <laughs> Wait, I saw a hiccup. Okay. Morning update, getting gnarly. Only thing I've noticed so far about today is that I don't feel any wind. However, when we get to the lake front, which is over there, there's a little bit, it's actually starting to gust now. When we get to the lakefront, we're gonna see the reality of our situation. Our situation could be good, or our situation could be, we just had a premiere here, drove all the way home, pretty much hung out for a couple hours, turned around, drove back to surf, and this could go poorly. But we have faith. What's your expectations for today? Well, it's eight foot on the buoy, so I'm expecting at least one foot. Oh God, the Terminator himself. <laughs> Talk to us about surfing on Lake Champlain. I've done it once before and it was it was small, but the buoy last night the buoy was saying it was gonna be eight feet today So if it's waist high, then it's a win. It's a win. Anyway. Are you We're 16 winning, feet tall? Make me look big. I can't tell. No, you said eight foot was waist high uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you surfed fresh water? Never. Dude, yes Never. All right, what's your claim Mackie? <laughs> <laughs> Our goal today is to find a wave on Lake Champlain. This is very, very obscure. We have multiple different wind reports ranging from 18 miles an hour to 50 miles an hour south, southeast. We have multiple different swell reports. It's saying anywhere from two to four feet to eight feet, eight feet at nine seconds, six at six, seven feet at seven seconds. There's no buoy in the lake picking up waves. So we don't necessarily know what to expect. However, this is what it's all about for me. If we ride waves on Lake Champlain today, today is going to be a victory. This is what it's all about. Chasing waves that nobody chases, finding dreams that nobody's dreaming of, and hunting down the obscure novelties of the world. Absolutely scoring them. Wish us luck. This is the journey. We're going for it. We're about to pull up on our first beaches and see what the waves are looking like. Ew! Dreams off! <laughs> Sorry, I blew that, didn't I? Oh, you're fine. All right, you guys might think we're nuts, but this is exactly what we're looking for. Those white caps out in the middle of the lake means that the wind is cranking, and that means that sooner than later, we're gonna be finding the dream. Currently, we're on the wrong side of the lake, so you can see these little waves here. We're on the opposite side of the lake, so we're getting the residual wind swell. That side of the lake is getting the direct hit. We're headed over there now. the lake so hopefully this will be a good indication of whether or not there's swells coming across the lake he tells you to come on these missions hey we're just gonna go to the bay and find a way after nebraska though i don't know it, it can't get any 
less hopeful than Nebraska. Dude. Double up? Right on. Oh, we got spray. We got spray. That means it's a wave. Look at this it's thing. Look at this one. It's gonna break. It's gonna break. Backwater. How's oh, this it's thing? Going, it's going, it's going. Alright, so as we ventured across the lake, we definitely saw bigger swells on the west side of the lake. That's a really good sign. We are on the mission. There's oh, waves. Are you kidding me? There's waves right here. What? What? Oh, the dream, bro. All right, we got wind. We got wind. We're about to check our first wave of the day. Could be on. Crossing our fingers, wish us luck. This is so heavy. made it to the beach. Throughout the next three hours, these waves are supposed to build six to eight times bigger than they are right now. We'll see what happens. Either way, we're riding a wave for sure today. Otherwise, let's see what goes down. I don't know. We got a set, people. Pumpy. Dreamer right there. What? It's a clean up set. Look at these lefts. Oh, look at these ones. Dude, they, those ones are fully circled right there. Really? Yeah. Oh, look at that one right there. Yeah. But the further bit down where it starts to peel off, here it probably gets too full again, but down there there's like... Alright, so we found some waves. We found some decently sized waves actually. But it's, it's private access, so I gotta see what's going on here. Mr. Gravy, aka the novelty god, is going into this random person's house right here to see if they can surf the reef I'll call it a reef, but I think it's beach. Surf the reef out the front of the house because we just spotted like a sick little wave. Nugget, huh? It's onshore, but we call it offshore if it's a novelty wave. So he's actually talking to him right now. The dude's got his rifle out. Go that little that. ramp over there? Yeah, hey, I'm not gonna lie. We could pretty easily walk out in front of here and climb down if you don't mind. I don't care. Is that all right with you? Yeah, so how are you gonna do it now? Gary took his stairs up. So how are you going to do that? There's a little thing right there with rocks. We could just climb down the rocks. Okay. Well, I'm going to... You know, I'll believe me. I don't want you to fall. We're, oh, we're not going to fall. We'll be fine. Right. I do this stuff all the time. But you're going to be on my property, not hers. Is that right? okay? Okay. Is that all right with you? Yeah. Okay. okay. Ben. And like you're Benjamin. Coming, where are you from? Atlantic City area. So much money there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good hey, luck. So you don't mind if we just walk across the yard right here? No. Okay. Thank you very much, Doc. All right, the Doc coming through like a chant right here. The man. We officially found waves. This is going to be the first session of the day. Hopefully not the only one, but we found some rideable waves on Lake Champlain. This is Lake Champlain 4 to 6. I'm tripping. Vibes are on. Wish us luck. Woo! You go shortboard out there if you want. If you really want to shred. Go! Go! Oh. <laughs> uh. Lake Champlain!
just absolutely scored for Lake Champlain. Full blown runners. Haven't seen the six to eight foot portion of it yet, but the hunt is not over and the wind isn't even at its peak for the day, so we're gonna see some bombs today. We're on the hunt still, we're gonna try to find something bigger, something better, something gnarlier, and uh, crossing our fingers. Lake Champlain coming through so far though. The dream, dude. Full turn, shove it, liners. What more could you ask for? Woo. Thanks for having us. Hopefully we'll see you again sometime. Someday. Thanks, Doc. Adirondacks, more like Shradirondacks. Yeah. No wonder Lake Champlain is not a great lake. It's not even good, <laughs> let alone great. What's going on with you? Dude, I'm dying right now. I have a hair somehow in my eyeball from like just paddling over the first wave in that session and it's killing me right now. I cannot get it out. Ben, it didn't help that Ben just scrubbed my eyeball with his finger. <laughs> rather be like ah oh, we could surf that if we really wanted to and it be something that you kind of missed or would you rather just go out and if it sucks just be like we tried it <laughs> i like this guy's attitude <laughs> am i right though no, you're right or maybe i'll go catch a couple of you guys can just check it out and if it looks fun little dude it's wedging over there factual information.
It's finally happening. We've been waiting all day for the storm to hit and it's hitting. The wind just picked up substantially and it's raining now. Somehow, got a gnarly deep cut in my foot. Have, oh my gosh, dude, it's blowing. We it gotta go find strong. the dream. And uh, this thing's not over yet. It's not over till I win! <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much after that heavy claim, we drove around for another two hours looking for waves and the wind completely backed off and nothing really ever came of it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the humor in this video. When we say four to six feet or eight feet, we're talking about the wave height reading in the middle of the lake. So when a storm is coming through and the wind is blowing really hard, it can be blowing 40 miles an hour across a body of water and out in the middle of the water, there's huge swells. But then by the time they push into the beach, they're really small. So there was a bunch of forecasts claiming that it was going to be four to six feet out in the middle of the lake that would have probably equaled maybe waist high waves, potentially chest high waves, something similar to what I got when I was in Nebraska, which now looking back on was one of the most surprising claims and scores I've ever witnessed in my life. If you guys haven't seen that video, I suggest you go check it out. I'm going to put it down in the description below. We flew out to Colorado and then drove four hours out into the middle of Nebraska and scored waves on Lake McConaughey. And I thought we were going to have a similar experience on Lake Champlain this trip. Turned out the wind never picked up quite to where it could have. And I think the wind really never got above 25 miles an hour and then just some really heavy gusts probably 50 but you need that sustained wind so this is something that we have to go back and try again but anyway this is novelty surfing this is you know what i signed up for it's not always going to be the most glamorous thing and it's not always going to be the score of the century so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you're enjoying the vlogs please subscribe please leave a like and a comment in the comment section below and i'm going to keep chasing the dream and trying to come out with the most exciting videos that I can. Thank you for all the support from the bottom of my heart, and I'll see you next vlog for the dream.